Hello, this is Ryan, the product review guru here, and today we are going to look at how to install WordPress using the Plesk control panel. Plesk is very popular out there for what web posts use, and all Plesk is is a way to manage your website files and perform operations on your website. All web hosting is is a server off somewhere in the distance where your website files are stored in all your settings. So if you're looking for some hosting tips or hosting companies that are very, very good with WordPress blogs and other websites, if you look at the website in the lower right of this video, I have some great suggestions on hosting. So as you can see, I have my Plesk login screen open right now. So I'm going to go ahead and log in, left click login. And we're going to be taken to our Plesk desktop. And yours may look a little different, different colors, but generally the features are the same. You should have a general right here, general section. And we're going to want to left click home. And you'll see I have two domains listed on this hosting. Today we're going to install WordPress on the affiliatejunkie.com. So I'm going to left click that link. And the button that you should have on your Plesk is called Application Vault. That's how you do the one-click installs with Plesk. I'm going to go ahead and left click. And we see we have no site applications installed at this time. And we're going to left click Add New Application. You'll see that the target domain is the affiliatejunkie.com. And this is the install button, but we haven't selected a program or application to install yet. As you can see, we have 39 applications we can choose from. So there's a lot of stuff you can easily install on your website that makes it much more powerful. It's in alphabetical order, and we're going to left-click the WordPress button to select the application. It's installing version 2.0, release 15. It's not the most recent version. Web posts have a little bit of lag time because it's not feasible to stay up to date with all the new releases that come out but you can upgrade WordPress very easily now and I would suggest to do so if its version 2.0 is listed because they changed the interface. So I will have a video on that as well so stay tuned. So after we have the WordPress application selected we're going to left click the install button and just gives you a description of the site application WordPress 2.0 release 15. It's a blogging software. Would you like to create a new custom button for this application? I'm going to stick with no. If you select yes and make it for available for the current domain only, it will appear right below the application vault button that we saw a few screens back. Destination directory, this is where WordPress is going to be installed. If you select document root, which is also called slash, or the top level of your domain, you would go to yourdomain.com and it would go right to your WordPress blog. If you want it in a subdirectory of your domain, like right here, we have WordPress typed in for us already, we'd go to yourdomain.com slash WordPress. Something to note, a lot of web hosts treat destination directories or folders um, with case sensitivity. So a WordPress with a capital W and capital P is a completely different folder than WordPress all lowercase. To say stay safe, I would follow the general rule that just stick with lowercase database name. It's a crazy string. The reason is because there can only be one unique database name on the server because the server would get confused if there's two databases with the exact same name and wouldn't know which one to use. Database login, same concept, crazy string because there can only be one unique login. So I would just leave these custom generated strings the way they are. You won't ever really have to use them unless you encounter some problems. You have to manually back up your database for WordPress. And you can always pull this information later from Plesk. The pass we're going we're gonna to choose, I would choose something relatively strong just for security purposes. I'm going to use pass123 and break my own rule. Pass123. Pretty much the database is just used by WordPress to store all of your settings, your posts, and that's how WordPress gets its power. It's database driven. Strong passwords have like a symbol, like an exclamation point, upper lowercase numbers, and upper and lowercase letters and numbers. And I would say at least six characters and you'd, you'd be safe. 
administrator's preferences. This is how you're going to log into the WordPress control panel. Admin is the default username for most installs. If you're really crazy about security, change this user administrator login to something else. But admin's fine as long as you have a pretty strong password. Once again, I would go six to eight characters. For me, though, I'm going to break my rule again and go to pass one, two, three, pass one, two, three. Administrator's email. If anybody ever wants to click an email button to email like the owner of this blog or WordPress needs to send emails out to an administrator for your blog, this is what would be used. So we're just going to do no at no.com because you can always change these settings later in the WordPress control panel. Same thing with the web blog title, you can change that in the control panel later. This is what is going to display at the top of your WordPress blog. I'm just going to say one click installation. Left click OK. And the site application WordPress has been installed. Great. Now we can see that one application's total has been installed, version 2.0, release 15, on our domain, theaffiliatejunkie.com, in our subdirectory of WordPress. It says how much space it takes up, not very much. Now, take note that when you submit an application installation request or any other operations that kind of do a lot of steps, this looks like it was a very, inst very easy installation, but there's actually kind of a few steps that has to be performed by the web host and when you're using a web host it's usually shared by many people so other people are submitting requests at the same time or before you and the web host pretty much treats it like a line the person who submitted the request first the server will do that then it'll move on to the next person and the next person so your WordPress blog is going to take a little while to set up because it has to take care of all the other people that submitted requests before you so when we go to our website here slash WordPress and it looks like the server was not bogged down today it got right to the installation but if you see that it's not loading right away I would just go get a drink come back give it I don't know 10 15 minutes it should be set up if you've waited an ample amount of time like you know a couple hours it still may or may not be up but by one or two hours you should be set up if not then you have probably a pretty bad web host and its resources are probably stretched pretty thin but this is what our WordPress installation looks like one-click installation and to administer our blog all we do is we add slash WP dash admin to the end of our install directory and then we get our login screen and you can log into the control panel for WordPress. So there you have it. There was our easy one-click install using Plesk. This is Ryan from product-review-guru.com here hoping you have an easy WordPress install and I hope you have a great day. This is your helping hand, the guru. Goodbye.